The pretty many coloured cottages around Falmouth Harbour look to have an admirer. This is HMS 7, complete with new paint job. It's called the Western Approaches Paint Scheme and isn't an homage to Falmouth, but is respectful recognition to the sailors who fought and died during the Battle of the Atlantic. The scheme was first used on Second World War destroyer HMS Brook and went on to feature on destroyers and small ships engaged in anti-submarine operations. HMS 7's commanding officer is Commander Phil Harper. It was designed to hide ships. It was designed to make them less easy to see, as opposed to the Dazzle scheme, which is really a World War I scheme, which was designed to, to confuse the enemy through a periscope or a rangefinder about direction, speed. Uh, this is genuinely designed to be camouflaged, to hide ships at sea. HMS 7 was decommissioned in 2017, but a year later deemed too valuable to UK defence and it was announced the ship would return. Now overhauled and repainted, the primary role in her second life in the Royal Navy is a combination of navigational training, protection of UK waters and fisheries protection. A great place to learn for people like Sub-Lieutenant Lara Martin, who's YO, young officer on board. It's been absolutely amazing. I've learnt so much about, I think, kind of, I suppose what the actual the Royal Navy actually does, uh, when you join up you don't really, you get an idea but you don't really get hands on experience and especially being off the watch you have no idea what you're going to experience until you actually get in the bridge. Especially with this small ship, the captain's a really good navigator and it gives us a really good opportunity as either future navigators or just future warfare officers to experience that knowledge I suppose. Another person to benefit from the opportunities on board HMS 7 is Able Seaman 1, Ricardo Providence. When you get on one of these ships and you get involved, you know, really doing the chefing, uh, you get to develop your craft, uh, you get to, um, to, to create your own dishes. Like uh, just uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did Caribbean night because I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago and they just loved it. The moment this is a training ship for chefs, I initially came on here, got trained up. I'm an AB1 now, and on the other ship, uh, which is Whitewatch, there's a guy who is an AB2, he's being trained up. And it's helpful because PO chefs are on here, so we get to learn the job. Covid's delayed plans for the recommissioning ceremony, but the ship's been busy operationally for the past 14 months, and HMS 7 will now recommission soon, complete with her paint scheme honouring those who fought in the Battle of the Atlantic. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Falmouth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.